Greetings. This is Pastor Milford from Waterford Ministry International in Miami, Florida. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, you are worthy of all praise. You are the God who never fails us. And you are the God who never failed to keep your promises. We thank you that in Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we see a love, justice, mercy, provision, and victory. You are the God who provides for your children. Our desire is to praise you as long as we live and inhabit our praises as we gather together today. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Scripture says, 2 Second Chronicle 5, verse 13 to 14. It came even to pass as to the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound, to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. When they lift up their, lift up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instrument of music and praise the Lord, saying, for he is good, his mercy, and do it forever. But then the house was filled with the cloud, even the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. The whole glory fell for them. The Father, we pray that the glory will fall in Waterford Ministry here in Miami. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us worship the Lord. sing of your love I want to sing of your mercy I want to tell the whole world of the greatness of you so I'll sing of your love I'll sing of your mercy And I'll tell the whole world Of the greatness of you Jesus, we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. We lift you up. Oh, yes, we Jesus. Sing a 
Toils and tests the worst and best Never left alone Always right beside me You hear me when I pray And since I first began You've been my dearest friend I give you Jesus is our 
Jesus all over the earth. We bless you tonight because you're worthy, Lamb of God. Glory to your wonderful name. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved Yet you gave to prove your love for me The voices of a million angels Could not express my gratitude all that I am and ever hope to be yeah. I owe it all right now to Thee To God be the glory To God be the glory To the weary, the worn and the weak And the same gentle hands that hold me when I'm broken They conquer death to bring me victory Oh, let all creation 
that we can come before you.
We were made to worship the King. We were made to bow before His throne. He delights when we lift our voice in praise to Him. Because we were made to worship Him alone. So true. We were made to worship
Good morning. morning. Scripture said, the song said, to you our praise we bring. Nobody has deserved any praise except Jesus. Let us go to the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we bless you. We give you thanks. We give you praise and glory. Thank you for your presence and this place. To you, Father, our, our praise we bring. Father, we bless you this day in Jesus' mighty name. Scripture says, who can stand in the hill, who can stand in the hills of the Lord, and he has a clean hands and a pure heart. We come before you this morning confessing that we have sinned against you. We confess every sins of the heart, sins of the flesh, sins of the tongue, sins of the thought life, sins of the heart past, present, future sins, sins we have not even committed yet. We lay them at your, down at your feet and we take the cleansing of your precious blood. We repent of them now. We ask for your forgiveness. We present our body to you, Father. This day, each and every day, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you, Father. As our spiritual worship, we ask, Father, that you will transform this by the renewal of our mind, that by testing that we may know what the will of God is, what is good, what is acceptable and perfect. And we bless your name, Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory, Father. We bless your name. Father, we lift up the, all the members of our ministry before you. Those that we don't see today. Those that are home. Those that are sick. Those that need a healing this morning, Father God. Father, you take care of our healing at the cross 2,000 years ago. Father, as scripture says, by your stripes, we were healed. We declare that, that we are healed. Father, in your name, we pray by your precious blood. Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory. The scripture says, and you, uh, we move and uh, breathe and have our being. And we bless you, Jesus. We give you thanks, praise, and glory. We pray for all ministries overseas. We pray for all the members overseas and every member of our Word of Faith ministry here international in Miami, Florida. And we bless you, and we lift up our pastor before you. We lift up the intercessors before you. We lift up every needs before you, Father. And we pray that all our needs are met today, Father God. Ministries needs overseas as well. All the pastors, all the members, all their facilities, Father, need to be met this day. In Jesus' name we pray. We take authority. We bind you, Satan, every unholy cherubim, throne, dominion, seraphim, and principalities, archon, archon, parasite, watchers, nephilim, small and large gray aliens, and all aliens, entities, powers, rulers of the darkness, wicked spirits, in high places and all spirit, not of the Holy Spirit, all above, around, and below. We are loose and you are cast out. I take authority and command you now to leave this place and go to the pit and be chained there until the great right on judgment. Father, we give you thanks for all the praise. We give you all the glory. We bind up and off. In all retaliation, counterattack, reprisal, Wrath, revenge of Satan to or through any individual organizations. Adversary would be adversary from this day. Any day past, any day to come, we decree such forbidden, all immediately, completely, permanently, continually, perpetually, in the name by the blood of Christ Jesus. We cancel every argument in the spiritual realm. We give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, it is a time in our service where we, when, where we receive communion. Scripture says we are not to receive his holy communion in an unworthy uh, manner. We ought to confess our sins before the Lord. And we ought to acknowledge the Lord works of the cross on our behalf. It should have been me and you hanging on that cross. And Jesus Christ in his grace and mercy went for me and you. We give him thanks, praise, and glory. Um, my brother and sister, while we are passing out the communion, please take a moment to confess your sin before the Lord.
the Lord Jesus Christ and the night he was betrayed, he broke bread with the disciple and he gave thanks to uh, Father God in heaven as we now lift up this bread and the wine, giving thanks to him for this bread, for this wine. And we ask him to bless it, to make it holy unto him, sanctify it, purify it in your name, we pray. And this bread represents Jesus' body working for me and you in Calvary uh, for the forgiveness of sin. That every time we partake in this Holy Communion, we do it in remembrance of him. And we're also proclaiming his death until he return. Let us eat now this bread in covenant. Let the Lord speak something into your heart. Father, we glorify you for this cup. We thank you for this cup. This cup represents Jesus' blood shed for me and you and Calvary for the forgiveness of sin. And every time we partake in this Holy Communion, we do it in remembrance of him and proclaiming his death until he return. Let us drink now in covenant. Speak something back to the Lord. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you praise and we give you glory. We bless your name, Lord. Scripture says, bring your tithes, uh, Malachi 3.10. Bring your tithes, your whole tithes, to the storehouse of heaven. So we may have food to eat in your house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. See if I will not open the floodgate of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room to contain those blessings. Bring your tithe, offering back tithe, special tithes into the storehouse of heaven. My brothers and sisters, so let us pray over this offering. Father, we come before your presence. We lift our hands in this offering. We ask that you make it holy unto you, Lord. We ask, Father, the godly wisdom in this administration that will be used for your purpose and your glory alone. I ask, Father, that you will give each person here a hundredfold return. 
We also pray for our ministry, Father, that you will continue to be a blessing for this horse, Father, while we are, Father God, supporting all the other ministries overseas. We pray for those hands, Father, that we're not able to give today. We pray a special blessing over them now, in Jesus' mighty name. We give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory, in Jesus' name we pray, amen.